Chasing is first and foremost something that happens energetically when we chase the energy of our twin. Not only by trying to force the physical connection, but also by obsessive thinking, daydreaming, visualizations, manifestation tools, etc. Every time you choose your twin's energy over your own, you are driving them away. Connecting with your twin's energy can be very healing and finding balance between your feminine and masculine sides. But once you have made peace with your inner masculine, come back and focus on yourself. You can connect with their higher self and enjoy your heavenly marriage. But you will eventually have to return to earth and face your reality here. So you must also focus on your well-being in this dimension. Let your twin flame love you through your heart but don't mix things up. Everything you feel as your twin is actually your energy. The love they have for you and the love you have for them is the same soul love. It's all you, it's all one, it's all divine. And it's wonderful. Because you don't need anything or anyone to be the best version of yourself. There are many misconceptions around the twin flame. As we always discover and unveil the depths of these relationships through our own experiences. The big question is often. Should I let go of my twin flame? We cannot let go of our twin flames in the same way that we cannot let go of ourselves. But what we should abandon is the attachment to our twin's personality or ego self. As much as, we should also abandon the attachment to our own constructed human personality. Which briefly is the story of the self, the memory of a past, and the expectation of the future that shapes us. Holding on to our human identity limits the full expression of our soul and creates a lot of stress and worry as we try to fit into the robe of the ego. Letting go of our expectations of our own human expression gives us the freedom to be who we are in this present moment. In order to stop chasing, we must let go of all expectations and attachments regarding the possible outcomes of our twin flame relationship. This is also the sign of true love. Allowing the one you love to be as they are, not wanting to change them in any way, accepting them as they are, and accepting your connection with them as they are. Wanting to change your relationship with your twin flame is like saying there is something wrong with the current situation. That is not how true love works. Think about how a mother loves her children and gives them the freedom to be who they choose to be and lets them have their own life experiences as they grow up. It might hurt her to be distant, but she really loves them, and that means freedom and acceptance.